Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to train ourselves to be overcomers in the process of becoming godlike. The G is training ourselves to be giving our heart to Jesus. Now without G we cannot come to O and training to be overcoming. So we have to become hot for Jesus first, heart given to Lord Jesus Christ, obedience committed to the Holy Spirit of God, time in His Word, in His presence with His family. But when you have become hot for Jesus, how do we overcome our problems? We all face all kinds of problems on a daily basis. Do you think Jesus has an answer for your problems? Absolutely. So much so in Ephesians 5 verse 17, he says, Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. He says, look, for each of your problem, God has an answer. God has a will. And Romans 12 too, we saw that then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, is good, perfect and pleasing well. So brothers and sisters, the reason many of us fail to be overcomers is because we fail to discern the will of God. Because if you follow the will of God, the grace of God will follow you. The power of God will overpower the circumstances that seems to intimidate you. So how can you become an overcomer? Discern the will of God. Now how do you discern the will of God? The will spells W-I-L-L. -L. The first step is W. You got to wait on His word in His presence. Say you have a proper financial problem. You just come and you say, Spirit of God, remind me of Bible passages, Bible promises, Bible principles. Because you see, the will of God will never contradict the word of God. And the word of God always points to the will of God. Now that's why we must wait in His presence, wait upon His word with the help of the Holy Spirit. Just receive that word from God that will never fail, will always solve my problem. So how do you know that? That's God's will or not. W-I-L-L. -L. The last L stands for look within your heart for peace. The peace of God is one of the greatest evidence that you have spotted the will of God. Because the Holy Spirit of God is in you. He's in your heart. He will say, yeah, that's it. That's it, brother. That's it, sister. But sometimes, okay, you're waiting in God's word. You don't have complete peace that this is what you should do. Then you go for the eye of the will of God. Inquire from mature Christians. See, that's why we need to be part of a fellowship. There are brothers and sisters who have trained themselves to discern the will of God much better than you and I. So that's why God puts teachers, God puts elders in the church. We go to them, elder, I, I'm not so sure what I should do in these things. See, they have trained to listen to the Holy Spirit of God. They do not conform to the patterns of the world. Their minds are renewed. So, when the Holy Spirit speaks through them, you may find the peace. But sometimes, even after talking to people, you may find your situation is complicated, that, that you are still you're confused. Then you go for that first L, W-I-L. Look around at your circumstances. God allows circumstances to kind of speak to us. That shouldn't be the first place we go. First place is God's Word. Mature Christians. But if you still don't have that peace within you, then you look around at your circumstances. Open doors, close doors, special situations. That is like God giving you a hint. So W-I-L-L. Wait on God's word in his presence. I inquire from mature Christians. L. Look around at your circumstances. The last L. Look within for the peace of God. Now, you do all this, you say, hmm, it's still not clear. I don't have the peace. Okay, then continue to wait. Oswald Chambers says, when in doubt, don't move. Wait. It's like a yellow light. When you see a yellow light, you're supposed to come to a safe stop. 
So if you're not seeing green or red, come to a safe stop. Wait in God's presence, inquire from mature Christians, look around, look within, keep doing it until the light turns red or green. And if it turns red and God is clearly saying don't go there, then don't go there and get a ticket. But if it is green, don't wait. Once God has spoken, don't wait, just do it. You know, you're not supposed to wait on a traffic light when there is green light. You know, you, people will be honking at you. So the Holy Spirit of God, what, what are you waiting for? God has spoken. That's why Bible repeatedly says, if you have heard the voice of God, don't harden your heart. So can I tell you, it's awesome when you learn this secret to discern the will of God in every one of your situations, you would see behind the will of God is the grace of God. All of heaven backs the will of God. And you would see the power flows into your situation. You do it once, you do it twice, you do it thrice. Then you would have found the secret. Oh, when I am hot for Jesus, there is the power of Christ flowing through me. I just need to be in His presence. We are also going to produce some videos on, in some problems that all of us face, how to find a partner. God's word has already made it clear. So we want to do a video on that, put it for you. You may be a father. Hmm. According to God's word, what is my responsibility? We would do the will of God for a father. You can watch that video. How about the will of God for a mother? How about the will of God for a teacher, for a student? How to find direction in life? So we hope these videos will help you discern the will of God and become an overcomer and be a testimony for a world that is disconnected with Jesus. Thank you.